All right, so I guess uh, then we'll be uh, starting our webinar bearings and accessories for sliding gates, sole supporting gates, and swing doors. Today, our presenter will be Alessandro Guzmin, directly from Comunello. So, Alessandro, good morning. Good, uh, good morning. Good afternoon for me. <laughs> yes, good afternoon for you in Italy. How are you? I'm fine. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you so much for, for joining for this uh, webinar. So now if you're ready to start, let's start with the presentation. Great. So I will share, first of all, the screen with you. Okay, so um, as we said, uh, um, we are going to start this uh, webinar today uh, showing uh, something more specific regarding uh, the products that Epcom uh, is going uh, is buying from uh, from Comunello. Uh, we will see. We will have a, make a focus, let's say, on uh, uh, the article that you are um, that Epcom is going to provide to uh, to the customers. So uh, we will be much more um, focused today in the um, in the hinges for uh, swing gates. Uh, after that, we will see uh, more in the details of the accessories for um, sliding gates as uh, uh, the wheels and the rails that we are going to place in the ground. And uh, uh, then we will uh, make uh, uh, some, um, we'll make another uh, focus on the cantilever gate system. So um, the gates without a rail on the ground. And um, this will be, I will show you also the instruments that you can have using our websites uh, and using our uh, devices that you can find online, um, which can be helpful to make a configuration on of uh, uh, the cantilever gate systems, which can be quite complicated to measure. Um, yeah, after that, at the end, um, I'm available to answer or try to, to, to answer to all your questions and uh, doubts that you may have regarding our, our products. So um, let's start from, as I, as I said, from the hinges. Uh, um, as you can see, uh, for swing gates, we have uh, different typologies of hinges uh, that can be installed on, uh, on a gate to make it uh, uh to make it work correctly um generally the most in, uh, most common uh hinges are the on axis rotation uh, hinges like uh the um, these uh, uh hinges with bearings on uh, on uh, so the rotation on axis it it means that uh the rotation is made by hinges that are placed or on, on the top and the bottom part of the uh, of the of the profile of the of the gate, or uh, cutting a part of the profile and placing inside a, a pin, which is a kind of hugged by um, by the by the inch, uh, which allow the movement inside uh, inside the the axis of uh, of rotation. Um, generally, the uh, capacity of uh, the hinges, uh, like uh, with bearing hinges, I mean, uh, is much more higher than a clamp hinges, uh, as we can see on the right side of the of the screen. Uh, this is uh, the reason why the um, this kind of hinges, the bearing hinges, I mean, uh, can bear uh, a really uh, high capacity uh, we can we can see uh, this kind of inches will have a capacity of uh, also up to in, in, the, in the bigger version of these inches we can reach also four tones of um, of capacity i will now explain you more in detail how the um, capacity is bay how the capacity of an inch uh, is uh, determined which is very important uh, when you are about to choose um, the product that you are going to install um, as you can see uh, many uh, many of our inches have different uh, sizes so depending on the size of the of the engine we will have different uh capacities um it is necessary to know first of all um how big 
uh, the, the the leaf is, uh, and after that we will determine which kind of inch uh, it is uh, suitable for for the application. Um, as you can see, and you will see also in our catalogs or in our website, um, the information is given um, considering the uh, ratio between L and H. Um, equal to one or less let's say um if the uh, if the leaf is a, a square it's a, it's a sh sh uh, the shape of the uh, of the of the leaf is a square we will have the capacity that you will uh, uh you will find also in uh, that you can find in the in the catalog so uh, if we have here an example, uh, if I have the, the hinge 120 and 24, I will have a capacity of about 220 kilograms, more or less. Um, but this, um, this information is correct until uh, the ratio is L. L on H, it is 1. If uh, the length of the of the leaf will increase, uh, if I have, for example, a two meter, um, it, if it is two meters long and one meter high, uh, the ratio is uh, superior, it's uh, higher, and uh, the capacity will decrease, of course. So uh, if um, you you see how it bend the curve of the um, how it curve the in the diagram of the capacity of the of the inch, you will see the 120 m24 uh, with the, the ratio two on one. Uh, the capacity will uh, drop to uh, to 120 kilograms, for example. Um, we deter we have as a maximum ratio that we can uh, we are al allow and we tested, which is three. Um, so if you will have, for example, a gate, uh, a swing gate with a, a ratio between L and H um, above three, we will not be able to grant you any product because it will not be tested. So it will be at your own risk, let's say, to um, install one of the one of the of our inches. I mean, it's not something that we have studies and tests made to uh, yeah to to give. Um, an indication of uh, uh, a correct installation in these cases. So, um, as you will see, for example, with this uh, with with this inch, you will see that the the, the same the same inch for uh, for the ratio one it is a 250 for the ratio three uh, we will be under 100 kilograms. So it will be something about 80 75 kilograms. So um, it's a kind of one third of the of the capacity mm -hmm. so uh, this is very important when we are about to choose a um, uh, hinge so let's say also for example now how um, the technical seeders are working so uh, for example the, this is the technical seeder of um, of, a, of a hinge so this is the bearing inch for uh, swing gates you can see in more in details something about how um, also the table which um, which show uh, which shows you the the structure uh, the, the, the technical schedules are both in um, Italian English Spanish uh, and other languages let's say uh, so you can uh, download all, all of them in our website so you can uh, find all the information about our products in our website uh, the website is made uh, um, dividing the products into uh, families of application, let's say. So, uh, on uh, if you are visiting our website, you will find many uh, other typologies of gates, um, and you have just to enter in the um, the category of uh, a gate that you want uh, to. Uh, that you are interested in and uh, you will find all the type of uh, accessories that you will need for that application uh, inside this you will find all the sizes and all the products um, as you can see here with the 85 uh, uh, um, with the inch 85 which is a upper uh, an upper inch that you are placing on the top of the profile uh, it will correspond also uh, the bottom inch, which is uh, in this case, generally it is a 
chosen uh, chosen by the, the installer. It is chosen the article 87, which will have much uh, more or less the same dimension, the same diameter uh, of uh, and the same capacity too. Um, as you can see, uh, there there is uh, there are two versions of the of the 85 M and G. Uh, M stands for medium, G stands for uh, the Italian word uh, grande, which means uh, uh, big. While we have um, for many other articles also um, the possibility to find something something with the letter P. And uh, the letter P stands for piccolo, which means small. So uh, remember just the G, M, and P, uh, which determine how big is, uh, um, which is the size, let's say, of uh, of the um, of the inch that we are choosing. Uh, so uh, as you can see, for example, in this case, I will zoom a little bit more, so it is much more clear the table that I want to show you. Um, as you can see, uh, the 85g which is the bigger one as the squares uh, that show you uh, the line of, uh, of capacity uh, we start from uh, 625 kilograms 650 kilograms sorry from uh, with a ratio uh, on one and then it decreases up to uh, 400 with the, um, the ratio three uh, the same mm, uh, the same trend uh, we you have also with the, the 85 m so with uh, with m we start from 450 and we decrease up to uh 315 with uh, with a, a bigger ratio this is very very important when we are as i told you when we are choosing the right um, the word right the right material to use let's check now how you are going to install it um as i told you um we are always going to uh we are going always to choose an upper uh an upper inch with a bottom inch uh, it is important to um, to determine the the right capacity of the two inches if they are different as in this case we have to make sure that uh the capacity is similar otherwise uh the capacity that uh, which we are able to grant you uh, will be the lower uh, the, the capacity of the lower um, so uh, if we have the two inches one with the 600 kilograms of uh, uh, capacity and the bottom one for example is a 400 kilograms the capacity on the rate on the same ratio I mean um, the, the capacity of the two inches will be the lower one so it would be 400 uh, this is very important when you are going to choose it's not a, su uh, uh, a sum of uh, uh, of the two uh, of the two capacities of the inches or um, the capacity of the bottom or the top no it is just um, the the minimum capacity between the two inches that will determine which is the full capacity of the system uh, this is very very important when you are uh, to know this uh, when you are going uh, to make the installation so it's very important to determine it before making uh, the installation after that you just have to weld um, the the support of the of the inch to the pillar uh it, it is about to be weld both in the pillar and in the in the profile after that you have to make sure that all uh both the upper inch and uh, the bottom inch are in a perfect line in vertical it must be perpendicular to the ground of course uh, so 90 degrees perfectly made and uh, um then just just need to place uh, uh the the parts on the to, to weld the parts on the on the profile and then at the end install the gate in the in the in the inches where they are placed so uh accuracy is necessary when we are going to make this kind of installations it's something um, which that is necessary of course when uh, uh this type of inches are used and this kind of gates are installed um as you can see let's go back to the presentation this is something important as you uh, as you know there are many different sizes of uh, um, of gates so um, when we have gates like this we will have to choose also other articles that are necessary 
for the installation, but the main part is made by the hinges. Uh, so uh, this is the very the very important uh, part. As you can see, as I told you before, uh, we have on axis and off axis uh, hinges. Uh, today, as I told you, we will be more focused on the uh, on axis rotation hinges, which are the articles that uh, Epcom is going to provide you and uh, is going to offer soon. So um, this is uh, this is uh, these are the most important information. But you know that there are also other types of uh, uh, hinges that can be can be chosen. And these are uh, and you can see here how the how the off axis rotation hinges are working. Um, after that, we can uh, go. Uh, we'll go directly to the um, to the sliding gates, which is uh, probably the, the most uh, uh, popular between the applications in uh, in um, in, uh, in the US and also here in Italy. Uh, let's go straight to that part with the sliding gates. As you can see, um, a sliding gate is made. Uh, mainly by um, the wheel which is uh, uh, the part that makes the movement and so it is very important to determine the right wheel to choose when we are going to to, to create a sliding gate uh, we have several types of uh, of wheels of course with uh, different uh, um, with different sizes of the of the groove so the groove can be um, can be rounded can be a v-shaped or u-shaped or um, so so you have different wheels uh, that can uh, fit on the different types of tracks that there are on uh, the different rays that there are uh, that there are on the ground um, so uh, when we are going to uh, to to create a sliding gate we have to know of course the weight of the gate which is very important and after that we will be able to choose the right wheel uh, in this case the capacity of a wheel is not give, um, and is given just for a single wheel and uh, uh, you will see also in catalogs technical seeders uh, the capacity of the of the full system, which is all, which has must uh, which uh, has to be made by two wheels, uh, the complete capacity of the two wheels is the sum of uh, of the two of the two wheels. So if we have uh, a wheel with 200 kilograms of capacity, two wheels will be uh, 400 kilograms, the full capacity. It is just the opposite of, um, of the hinges uh, that we saw before. Uh, wheels uh, are, uh, are made uh, at this kind of capacity that we can grant and we test. All the products that we do, uh, that, we make here, that we make here in Italy are tested and granted. And uh, as you may imagine, Comunello is making this kind of products for uh, decades. So, um, uh, for uh, it, our company has uh, almost uh, uh, 60 years of history, so um, we have a long, very long experience of the, on on these uh, on these articles and uh, gate accessories, especially, are um, the most popular. And we are very well known for the quality of uh, of the products and uh, the quality of our uh, also uh, because they are tested and they have a very good reputation in the market. Um, as I told you, uh, the wheels uh, will have uh, we have different uh, uh, different diameters. First of all, of wheels, we start from uh, from from the smaller sizes up to the to the bigger ones. So we go uh, we have diameters for the smaller wheels of, uh, for example, 40, 40 millimeters, and we re we have also wheels of 250 millimeters. As you can imagine, the capacity of the of the wheels can be very different. Then there are differences in uh, um, in the wheels depending on how many bearings they have inside. So uh, a wheel with one bearing will have a capacity um, which with two bearings is double. So um for example if we have uh, the wheel uh, of, mm, that we are going to see uh, in a few minutes the 300 v the article 300 v with a uh, with a 
the groove. Uh, we have, uh, uh, for example, for 100 kilograms, for um, 100 millimeters of diameter, we will have 250, uh, 220 kilograms of capacity. The same wheel with the same uh, diameter, but with the two uh, bearings, uh, will have 400 uh, kilograms of capacity, so almost a double. Uh, also, the size of the wheel will be a little bit uh, different because it's, it is thicker uh, to, you know, it has to uh, contain, uh, it has to, uh, we need a little bit space for to, to put the second, uh, the second bearing. So, uh, the diameter is the same, but it will be a little bit thicker. Um, another thing that can increase the capacity of the wheel, for example, is the greasing system. We have the many wheels which has uh, one or two bearings, but they have also uh, the, um, the possibility of uh, having uh, the, the um, to have the the greasing system. Uh, so you can grease a little bit the uh, time by time. Of course, you can grease the bearings, and it also increases a little bit the capacity of the uh, of the wheels so uh, when we are going to choose the the wheels uh, you know that you have to make um, one the capacity of one wheel uh, two wheels will be double three wheels technically uh, if we are uh, uh, if just in a theo theoretical way it could be triple um, so the uh, the capacity of a wheel will be triple if we use three of them. But uh, basically, when we are making the installation with three, we cannot be sure if the three wheels will be touching the, the track or not. And this is, in this make very um, something very risky to to make an installation using three wheels. Also, if the gate is very big. Uh, so our uh, we recommend never to use the third wheel. Uh, sometimes it is used because uh, the gate is very long and one wheel is placed on the in the middle part and um, in the middle. So um, if uh, during the years the gate is bending a little bit in the middle, they some some user are going to install the third wheel in that position. But it is not something that we recommend or suggest in any case because uh, it can be. Uh, a risk for uh, for the for the life uh, for the waste of the wheels and the, because if just two of them are going to touch the uh, the ground and the other one is uh, has a little bit uh, lit, a small difference in the eighth of it is positioned uh, it may uh, create a very early waste in uh, the other two wheels so um, that's why it it can be very risky when we are going to uh, choose this option. Uh, as you can see, uh, well, as you can see, every wheel uh, must fit to um, to the to the track that we are going to choose. Um, in this case, uh, today we will see mainly, as I can see in the in the American market, is much more popular uh, the V groove, the uh, the V groove uh, shape of uh, of the track. It means that uh, while in Italy uh, and in other markets here in Italy, uh, in Europe, uh, it is much more popular the rounded, uh, the rounded, uh, the rounded uh, track. As you can see, we can both offer uh, for uh, for both typologies of uh, of uh, track, we can offer a solution to be cemented and to be fixed. Um, the, let's say that if it is a new installation, uh, so uh, there is not the concrete already in the, in the ground, you have to create the, the, uh, the concrete, uh, let's say, the concrete basement uh, to plunge then uh, the, um, the, 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 the track and, uh, uh, of course, the, the V part should be outside of the of the cement, and then you can place the the, the wheel on top. Uh, while if uh, it is an old, um, there is already the the concrete part and the, the cement is or the cemented part has already been made. You can fix it with with the screws. You can uh, you can uh, you can fix it uh, fix the track in the in the ground and then 
place uh, um, the gate with a V groove uh, with a V shaped uh, uh, groove on, on top of it. Let's now give a look to the um, to the to a, um, to a technical side of the wheel. As you can see, um, there are many sizes. I will zoom a little bit so you can read much much better how it is um, how it is made. You can see um, with I zoom a little bit more so maybe it's clear, much more clear. Here we are. Okay. As you can see, um, the 300V, this is a, a wheel which has just one bearing, which is in the, mid, in the middle of the, of the wheel. The wheel will have, uh, uh, it will have uh, the screw with the nut, uh, so you have uh, the entire, uh, you can fix it on, uh, on the profile. Um, the wheel uh, has several dimensions, as you can, as you can see uh different sizes so we start from 40 millimeters and we reach with this article the 200 millimeters of uh, diameter and as you can see the capacity is going to increase of course more is the bigger is the diameter bigger will be the capacity of these uh, of these wheels so um this is pretty pretty obvious um as you can see also uh there are uh, there is the indication of the length uh, uh, and uh, the M uh, of the of the of the screw that we are going to use. Uh, it will be very helpful for us uh, when considering then the type of profile that where we are going to install the the wheel. So um, if as you can see uh, the majority of the wheels will have a screw with uh, M14 uh, and uh, which is the uh, the size of the of the threaded part of the of the screw uh and 70 is the length of this uh, of this screw it means that will it will it should fit perfectly on a profile of 50 for example 50 millimeters um then we also have the the bigger wheels as you can see they have a bigger a bigger uh m for the screw which is m16 um, this is important just to make the installation properly uh, when we are going to to install uh, on the on the profile. Let's give a look now on how to install uh, a wheel. We have to create for so, first of all a niche, let's say, so a, a space inside the inside the profile. Mm, generally, we recommend to uh, stay uh, just between uh, fifty. 50 centimeters and one meter from the from the gate, depending on how long is uh, the sliding gate. Uh, this is the um, if we are going to place the wheel more than one meter, we could be too far from the end, and uh, um, we could have uh, some problems in uh, in uh, of stability of the entire system. So we could recommend a distance among between. Uh, um, 50 and 100 centimeters. So this is very important. Once we create the space inside on the bottom part of the gate, we can screw, uh, we can um, place uh, the right the right point where we have to um, create the hole when we where we are going to install uh, the screw and then closing with the nut on the other side. That will be uh, the position of the wheel. Of of course, it it must be as you can see also in the drawing in the uh, with the dots uh, uh, with the dots uh, you can see uh, that it must be perfectly in a line in the in the uh, in the length of the of the of the gate. Um, this is obviously important because the two wheels must be in the same eighth of a position in in, uh, in the same eighth. Otherwise. Uh, uh, the entire system will not be very well balanced, and uh, there will be for sure problems uh, in uh, uh, problems of, of in the movement. As you can see, also uh, the also in the other uh, both in the in the length in the uh, central uh, length and eighth must be the same for when we are going to install the uh, uh, the wheels of a sliding gate. Okay, as you can see here. 
Then we can also give a look to the other type of wheels. So uh, as I told you, with the two uh, with the two bearings, it is a thicker wheel, as I told you. So the difference between, uh, as you can see, uh, we have here. I zoom a little bit more. Uh, you can see the L of uh, this uh, of this uh, of this wheel. The L is the length of the uh, how how thick it is. This is. Uh, for example, the 140 is uh, uh, 31 um, millimeters large, while the same wheel uh, with one bearing, as, uh, as we saw before, uh, 140, uh, the same wheel will have uh, a thickness of 20 of 25 millimeters so the the reason why it is bigger it's obviously because it has the second the second bearing that you can see here the two bearings need a little bit more space and makes the the wheel much thicker but also much more uh which much more force for uh for the for the installation this is uh, something important when you are as it you are going to determine how uh, big is uh, the gate that we are going to to, to create? Um, the installation is exactly the same anyway in all the, in both cases. Uh, regarding the the track, uh, this is uh, something important to be fixed. Uh, it's like this. So uh, the track doesn't have uh, any kind of capacity that we determine or that we give. We don't give indication uh, about capacity on uh, on track. But what you can do if you are not safe, uh, if you don't feel uh, comfortable with uh, uh, with this type of uh, of rail, you can place inside, for example, um, uh, a stick of uh, of um, of steel, for example, to make it much more uh stronger let's say but generally uh, all the products are created to fit with all the uh, weight that we are going to place on them so if the wheel is uh, um created to support uh, 400 kilograms and two wheels are made to to for for 800 kilograms uh, also the trail uh, the track will have the force for, um, to to support and to bear the weight that we are going to place on them so there is no need to uh, put extra things but uh, of course the installer are free to do that if they want to make it stronger and to, to feel much more safer this is uh, the installation on uh, uh, with the uh, with the fixing uh, with the fixing uh, uh, track, as you can see, it's very easy. You just have to create a perfect line, which will be, of course, double of the gate length. So uh, it's obviously the, the, the double uh, in a gate of uh, six meters. We will need uh, twelve meters of uh, uh, track on the ground. Just have to screw and fix them on the ground. Much more uh, complicated, let's say, uh, it is obviously a little, bit more, a little bit more difficult when we have to cement our track. Uh, this is how it works. We have to uh, use the fresh concrete, uh, connect uh, in case of a rounded groove, connect the, the trace with the, also some pins that are uh, necessary to create a line. Uh, then you have to, Put the to put the the uh, the track in the fresh uh, concrete. So when it is still liquid, and then after it it, it becomes hard when it's uh, when it is going to dry, you you will have to uh, at the end you you need to have uh, the V-shaped part of the of the track outside of the. Of the gate. That is very important when we are going to uh, to create uh, this kind of uh, of system. So perfectly in line, and the, and the groove must be um, must go smoothly during the entire operation. We, we should never hear any uh, different sounds when it goes from uh, from a track to the other track. So everything must be smooth and very accurately made 
as, the, as usual. Um, after that, uh, we are going to, uh, to see maybe now something more regarding the uh, cantilever gate system. So a cantilever gate system, well, of course, I didn't say before uh, what, all the parts that create uh, a, a sliding gate. There are There is also, as we can see here uh, with the cantilever gates, we also have on, on the top, uh, on the upper part of the, of the gate, we will have also um, the guiding plate, which is necessary to to um, to be stable with the vertical in the vertical part of the of the gate so it is very important let's see now how a uh, cantilever gate system is working so uh, when we are um, when we are to going to create a, a cantilever gate system we need to choose the right chariot uh, on um, on the which has to sustain to, to, um, to sustain the, all the weight of the gate, uh, this chariot will give us all the, infor uh, all, uh, uh, the, the information about all the other accessories that we are going to, to use because everything will be sized on the dimension of the chariot. So the monorail will, uh, will be, uh, for example, in this case we see in this, uh, uh, in this technical seedle, so which explains how a kit is made, and Epcon is going to provide you also these kits. Um, you can see that, for example, if the chariot is the 150.5p, uh, all the other accessories will be with a p at the end. So, uh, in this case, uh, for cantilever gate systems, the letters are a little bit different than uh, what we saw with the uh, with the hinges. So uh, M is for the smaller version because M stands for mini, while P uh, stands for uh, piccolo, which is a small but is bigger than the mini. Sorry for the for the confusion that it can generate because then we have the G, which is the bigger the bigger size. The, uh, the reason I explain you why there is this difference with the M uh, is not, that not, doesn't stand for medium is because at the beginning we just have P and G, piccolo and grande, small and big. And then it was created also a smaller version of the, the products. Just this is the reason why uh, you can create, like, you could have this uh, little confusion on not choosing the product. Just remember that M stands for mini, for, so for the smaller one. So we can see that all the articles will, will be with a P. So the monorail, uh, the end, uh, the bottom end, uh, and also uh, the the terminal wheel, the end wheel uh, will also have uh, this size. Uh, we can see other. We can see also here how a kit is made and what you can find inside them. Uh, you can find, for example, how, uh, first of all, you are going to, to have uh, the capacity of the, of, the, of the chariot. We can see more in detail uh, here in the technical seedle that you, and it is something that you also can find in, uh, uh, the, uh, in the catalog, uh, the K, uh, KGF, which is uh, 1,300 1, kilograms. It is not the capacity of the chariot. It is the maximum force that we can place on top of uh, of the of the of the of the chariot. It means how strong it is when we are placing a, a weight, a static weight on, on the top of it, and it doesn't have damages. Um, it doesn't mean that you are going to place a gate of 1,300 uh, 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 kilograms. You will, uh, as you, as we saw before, uh, this type of uh, uh, kit will be up to six, six meters long gate and 600 kilograms. So it's uh, you have just to consider this. It's just the static force on top of that. OK, uh, very important when we are going to choose uh, uh, a cantilever gate system is how to install them. So the installation is is crucial when we are uh, installing this. Uh, very important will be, and we will see in a few minutes, 
uh, how to make a configuration of the gate. So this is uh, something which is necessary uh, to determine before making any kind of operation to create a cantilever gate system, because we must be very um, accurate in placing in the right position the chariots and so all the rest of the gate. So uh, the most important part, first of all, is to create, uh, let's say, the uh, basement made of concrete, which will, uh, um, where the, uh, the chariot will be placed. So we can see here that increasing, of course, the uh, length of the of the opening. Also, uh, the, the distance between the two chariots will increase. So the uh, uh, the value that you can see here here with i i is the interax. So it means how uh, which is the distance between the two chariots between the center of the two chariots. This is going to determine also how big will be the um, the basement to uh, made in concrete because remember the basement uh, has minimum sizes that we indicate and uh, uh, these sizes are necessary must be necessarily at least uh, with the size that we declare and that we show you on the on the on the projects and these uh, the di these dimensions of the concrete block will give you uh, the stability of the entire system because the weight is balanced by this block of concrete otherwise the if it is a uh, if the sizes are uh, smaller we will have a very big problem in uh, uh, in uh, making uh, uh, the system the entire system working correctly uh, this is something important as you can see here we have the sizes and depending on the weight and the length of the gate, I will have uh, a different uh, uh, interaction between uh, uh, the two chariots. Uh, we have to be very accurate in uh, placing the chariots in the, in the, uh, with the di correct distance between them. In this way, the entire gate will be, uh, will be perfectly made. We will see in a, in a while how, how a configuration is made. Then, uh, as, you, as you can imagine, the second most important, after we, we choose, uh, we choose uh, the, the chariot, the monorail will go on, uh, on with it. So in this case, we will have the P, the, um, the CGSP. So the, this is the technical schedule of the monorail. It must be welded on the bottom of the of the gate we can see here so the entire length of the gate we will have to weld the uh, the monorail and after after that we have to uh, place the uh, the gate in uh, over the chariots and we will be able to make the complete opening as you can see here also there is also the guiding plate of course on top of that uh, we have here uh, the guiding plate which is made by uh, rollers uh, the rollers are made can be both made in uh, nylon. We have uh, something in nylon. We also have some rollers made of brass, but it's up to the customers and choosing which kind of roller it's better. Of course, the nylon one, which is plastic, it's a very strong plastic with uh, glass fiber on them. Um, with uh, with this nylon uh, rollers, uh, the also it is less noisy. Let's say so. It is. Uh, Besides of being smooth, it's also a kind of silent uh, system. Uh, this is how, of course, the plate uh, has to be installed. So with the four, uh, two or four uh, rollers on, uh, on the side of the plate, and they are necessary to guide the, the gate in the entire movement. Uh, here we have also the end uh, bottom that we are going to place uh, both in the at the end of the opening and uh, the end of the closing it is something helpful for example uh, because it uh, matches perfectly this kind of article which is the uh, terminal and uh, wheel uh, this end wheel will go over uh, over this uh, uh, bottom bottom cap let's say and uh, the wheel will uh, um, will not uh, uh, will help let's say 
the life uh, and the uh, of the chariot. So uh, let's let's say it prevents from every waste of uh, um, of the chariot uh, because not during the entire time, the whole time, uh, the weight will be over the chariot. So, so in this way, we let's say we. Um, give a, a, a bit of relax to our uh, to our uh, chariots when they are installed so this is very helpful to um, to grant a long lasting system so everything is studied and developed to create something that uh, um, you know making uh, maintenance on this type of gate is very difficult so it means that these gates must work forever or almost so uh, the quality of, uh, of the products that we are going to offer must be very, very high because of uh, the difficult maintenance that you have, uh, that you need to, to uh, that you have to do with, uh, with this kind of products. And so this is the reason why of the high quality products and uh, the solution that we are going to offer. Great. Uh, if you uh, agree, I will show you now uh, how to make a configuration of uh, uh, of a cantilever gate system? So, um, in our website, you can uh, um, there is a user area. You can register yourself um, on uh, the user area, and you will be able then to create your own projects for cantilever gate systems, but also for other types of products. Today, uh, we will uh, will make a cantilever gate configuration. Uh, so we have to choose uh, to choose the, the type of opening. So this is how um, how it works. Uh, let's you can give a, the project uh, a name of the project. So uh, now I will write Epcom with the date of today. For example, if we have to do more projects, um, we we'll proceed with the configuration, and then we will have to choose. Uh, which is uh, the material first of all well, we will choose steel which is the which has more options let's say uh, we have to give uh, just to know the the width and the weight of the how long it is the you see uh, from pillar to pillar I mean how long it is let's for example let's uh, say it is uh, um, eight meters okay with uh, it can be 600 kilograms more or less journey a gate with this uh, with this uh, width with this length we proceed with the configuration here you will see that there are some options that are suggested as the best solution um my personal opinion uh, also to save money and so on is always to choose the small the solution which has the smaller size of uh, of monorail in this way you will be able to um, to offer also something more convenient let's say so g is a, a small uh, it's bigger than p so it's better to choose p in this case as you can see here now we had eight meters the inter axis that we uh, obtain is 2.35 meters and it is perfect because remember when we are going to um, to choose a, a cantilever gate system it's important that the inter axis is between uh, one third and one fourth of the entire uh, length uh, opening length so uh 2.35 uh, is perfect for uh, eight meter uh, gate we also have the total length of the gate so it means that we have uh, that we know uh with this um after we choose the, the after we choose the the chariot we have also the right uh, the, um, the full length of the gate that we'll have let's make an example now instead of choosing one of the best let's choose something else that for example can be one of the solution for example let's choose this um 250.5 g which is a bigger uh, which is a bigger, for example, chariot or uh, monorail, but it is a different chariot, which is smaller. As you can see, the uh, interaxis changed a lot, and uh, the interaxis with this kind of uh, chariot will be something uh, almost. Uh, uh, so you will have the same size of the uh, of the of the tail of the gate, 
uh, we, it will have more almost the same uh, size of the opening length so it is not a good option because we will uh, maybe we will save some money for the gay uh, for the chariot but we will lose a lot of money in uh, the material to create a gate with this big tail and it is not a good solution so we choose uh, um, the two, the 350.8p. We proceed with the configuration with this chariot. Uh, they are going to provide us all uh, the foundation and the basement uh, uh, dimensions. So we have all the indications on how big it, it should be. We proceed. We choose the monorail, how long it is. Let's choose the bars with the six meters, but it's up to you then to choose to make to mix them if necessary. Uh, after that, we have to choose all the accessories to create uh, uh, the cantilever gate. So we will choose the tie rods to to place in uh, we placed in the in the concrete the the template to make uh, a right installation, the end wheels as we saw before, the bottom and the cups uh, that we also saw. Uh, and the support for um, the end cups and the tension bar. The tension bar is just something you can place in the diagonal, uh, in the diagonal part of the of the tail. So uh, if after a few years uh, the gate will start to lose some and in this in this uh, strengthness, you can with the tension bar you can make a regulation of the of the of the tail, and in this way you will uh, it can be more. Uh, more stable also the, the entire system safety accessories is the guide plate I will choose a big one because the gate is big and then the configuration is complete uh, you will uh, receive a PDF at the end you can uh, download it I mean now it's going to be generated and in this global configuration as you can see there is, there is uh, the, the, it's kind of a small project let's say uh the, where you can have now it's ready here it is you can see uh all the details of the of the gate and the full list of articles that you need to order to create this uh, um this this system okay if you have uh, 